everyone, Janine here from Lupus Health Shop. Are you sick of wondering whether or not you can work anymore? Or if you're going to lose your job? And I was in the same exact position as you. I'm going to tell you today your legal rights in the U.S. and how to modify your position to better fit your needs. For our Lupus Life Hacks series, we're going to tell you everything that you need to know on a variety of topics that will help you live a healthier and happier life, even with lupus. So in the beginning of 2018, I wrote a blog called At Home Careers with Lupus, Everything You Need to Know. That blog goes into great detail on your legal rights, communicating with your employer, with your HR department, as well as your case manager. Plus, you get a free guide on what jobs are hiring, um, what positions are available, and how, you know, companies that work from home, um, tons of information. That link is available in the description. Just click the link and it'll pull it right up. All you have to do is download it. Um, if you want all the details, that's where you want to go. But for this video, we're going to keep it short and sweet and get straight to the point. So let's dive in. Lupus life hacks to keeping your job or finding one that fits your needs. There are two laws to be aware of, ADA as well as FMLA. So first, ADA. What are some great scenarios that may help you? Well, you can work from home full time or you can work from home a few days a week. Uh, you can reduce your hours so that it's more manageable. You can change your position usually. Usually you could do like a lateral move or go down a level. Um, make a flex schedule. I don't know about you, but some days when I don't feel good, I do not want to get out of bed and I am in so much pain that I just can't concentrate. So I'll take a few hours off and I'll get back to work later when I'm feeling like I can manage my symptoms better. So what are the rules for your ADA? 15 or more uh, employees must be working for your employer. You must have proof of your chronic condition, of course, and that proof can just be a doctor's note um, that's describing your symptoms um, or it could be, you know, other supporting documentation that you've had throughout the years. Um, Definitely keep a journal that's going to be very helpful for you when you're with your case manager and you have to describe exactly what's going on and how your work environment affects you. FMLA. This is the second law that I mentioned earlier. Or temporarily need to stay home or reduce your hours. Um, basically, the rules for that are you must work for your employer for at least one year and a minimum you must be working for a 24 and a half hours a week. If you work for the government or federal, at the federal or state level, or in a school, they must comply. If you work for a private company, your employer will have to comply only if they have 50 or more employees for at least 20 work weeks out of the previous or the current year. This federal law allows 12 weeks of unpaid leave for qualifying employees. Plus, you won't be risk at risk for losing your job, which is even better. Your position will be protected, and you get up to a year off without pay. Even better, which I think is a double win, you will not lose your health benefits. So how do you apply? FMLA and ADA are covered under your disability insurance carrier. So you'd call them, you'd mention that you want a case manager, and you want to open a case that will work on your ADA or FMLA benefits. From there, your case should only be open for a maximum of two weeks. If it's open longer, there's something that is inaccurate in terms of conversation or communication with your HR department, which is very likely, um, or your case manager's waiting for information from your doctor's office. So five things that you need to make sure you do. Open a case with your disability insurance carrier. Make sure that you are writing down all of your symptoms and keep a journal so that you can read this to your case manager and your HR department. Make sure that you save every single conversation so that you can ensure there is no miscommunication and your requests are very, um, they're supported and they're recorded. Lastly, your case should only be open for a maximum of two weeks. Thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you never miss out on a Lupus Life Hacks video and making your life easier even with lupus.